I'm David, and welcome to Happy Turnings. Today I've got a piece of a branch. I am not sure what type of wood it is. Looks like kind of maple, but or maybe an oak, but I'm not sure. Not a lot of figure in this, but it's a brightly colored wood. Looks quite gorgeous. The uh, bark is quite tight to the uh, to the piece of wood there as well. So I'm going to see if I can't actually turn this into a nice little live edge and. Um, start off with a glue block here um, using my found my centerpiece or as close to center as I need to there um, and use my toothpick method here to make sure I try to line this up as best as I can um, my glue block has some of these ridges down underneath here as well uh, helps to create additional surface for adhesion to the piece itself I'll just do a little bit right around the edge there and then we'll do some in each one of our rings here. Oops. Need a lot underneath here. What I am looking for is good contact and centering of it. And then I'll put a bead around the outside of it once it's there as well. And there we go. Alright, so we'll go here, right around the edge. We'll just do a nice little bead here. Get that glue stick in place. Sometimes I'll leave just a little hole or a little gap on one spot. That way when I get finished, I can put a little bit of my Everclear in there and Helps to get behind and underneath it all. But for now. Okay. A little live edge. Freshly sharpened bowl gouge. Walk to the side. Face mask, face mask and shield on. <clears throat> Let me crank it up from here. Turn off about And so my shavings are coming off a little bit torn. I'm going to go ahead and sharpen again. We'll be back. All right. All sharp. All right. Let's get back to it.
clamped up in between my jaws. We'll see if this will hold or not. I'm not uh, very hopeful that it will, to be honest with you. But we'll see. I am going to crank up the speed a little bit. And I'll go up to about 1100 RPM. We were only sitting at about 900 before. Clean up the inside a little bit. We'll get it swapped around and we'll uh, go ahead and shape the outside. Yeah, just clean up the inside. We'll get it cleaned up and sanded. I'll probably even finish it. Uh, I think I'm going to use some cauldrons maybe to grab this guy. We'll see. We'll see. professionals that uh, recently did a video I, I really uh, liked. Anyways, <clears throat> okay, let's get the sand up a bit and, um, and then we'll swap it around and take it from there. Some storms came by and darkened it up. Let me turn this on real quick here. Yeah, I'll brighten it up a little bit. Okay. So, uh, grabbed one of the tennis ball, swept it, swapped everything around here. Um, I have it on a live, uh, I'm sorry, a drive center on my headstock here. Flipped it around. I'm going to be able to shape it on this side over here. This side, my jam chucks wouldn't really fit in there very nicely, wouldn't comfortably. I could always shape a new one for it, but the tennis ball is fine. I work quite well. And now I've got my other uh, chuck here, and it fits quite nicely in between those jaws. It just kind of sits nicely in there. Tightened everything up. This is a uh, live 1-inch um, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, by 8 TBI uh, live uh, tail stock. So uh, so it's got full, full motion there, and uh, I'll be able to turn this turn this down quite nicely here. So uh, let's go ahead and get the shape in the bottom here. We're going to be careful not to get into the inside uh, diameter here of the rim. Try to keep it smooth. I've already got a line here. I'm going to try to get that line out and try to keep it smooth. So we'll bring it down just a little bit past that and then we'll shape it down towards the headstock. Step to the side. Speed up. And I've got this all the way maxed, 
We've got this at uh, 16, 1670. right there to still take down a little bit. We'll just finish trimming that out. I think I keep bringing that in just a little bit more there. So other than that, I think I'm doing pretty good. Let's do that just a bit more. try for the rim anymore. I think I'll even that out with some sanding. Clean that up a bit. I think I might take in I'm going to take that down just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Doesn't need much. Sand this down. We'll get some finish going on it. Dented there, but not bad at all. All right, let's get some finish on it. Uh, abrasive paste. 
even though it's not on the lathe, I'm still going to be able to run this around there. The um, wax is in this. Oils are going to help penetrate that wood, give me a nice seal. And I'll come back with some of my, that's uh, kind of like a homemade OB Shine juice type stuff as well. But this here is going to help seal up some of those pores. Make a little bit of a nicer, smoother finish. And no, you don't have to have it on a lathe for this to work. You just throw some on, get it rubbed in real good, and find another part of your rag that's dry. And give it a good wipe down. go. Now, let's do a little bit more. A little too much. There we go. Too much and then I put too much back. Yep, even do my medallion. Whole thing all the way around. Be careful not to break off that live edge. There we go. Now we got a nice little coating of carnauba wax, beeswax in there. Off a bit. This is uh, my Everclear rag, clean natured alcohol, whatever you want to call it. I use Everclear for mine. So I come back over it all. there's any debris left from that last little bit of abrasive paste that gets it off of there. Some of that it's a shellac, uh, a little bit of boiled leaf seed oil, and some Everclear. I'm just going to go right in there. Starts to take fairly quick. Come back and do a couple more coats later. Just set this down on my drying rack for a bit. I will brush it down as well. We'll get back to that a little bit later. Okay, another coat. Start with quite a bit right in the middle here. Just coat that around inside. Yeah, get that all around 
around the edge, come back around the outside. Come on. Don't start going too fast on me. There we go. Get off of there, you. Only these don't leave very much left behind on them. Yep. All right. Hope you all enjoy. Wish y'all happy turn.